Hi, I'm Stefano Tempesta. I'm a Microsoft MVP and Chapter Leader for CRM UG Switzerland. The agenda for today is to talk about the broadcast pattern. When considering the variety of integration needs in Dynamics 365, so common design patterns emerge for how to address them. We can define a design pattern as the most logical sequence of steps to solve a specific uh, data integration requirement. And they are all established from experience, from actual use cases. So the five most common design patterns that uh, I can identify for data integration are the broadcast pattern, that is the object of today, aggregation pattern, bidirectional sync pattern, correlation pattern, and the migration pattern. When speaking of the broadcast pattern, this is a, a way of integrating moving data from Dynamics 365 to multiple target systems in a continuous real-time or near real-time basis. Essentially, it is a one-way sync from one, our 365 system, to many systems. Now, it is important to consider that this pattern is transactional, meaning that the data transferred, the transaction, when succeeding, the data is committed, so it is persisted the destination. But if the transaction fails, the entire data transfer is aborted or is cancelled, basically. So this type of sync process is also optimized for processing records as quickly as possible. So the data is up to date between multiple systems over time. It is essential then that the broadcast integration is highly available and reliable to avoid losing any critical data in transit between our 365 system and the target system. So this is where the role of an enterprise service bus is uh, crucial, I'd say, in order to guarantee delivery of messages. Now, let's start examining also from a code perspective the implementation of the broadcast pattern, which follows closely the publish subscribe pattern that we have already seen as implemented in Azure Service Bus. Now, there are two approaches that we can take, a push mechanism that delivers probably the best performance, but requires implementing a triggering mechanism like a plugin in uh, our CRM uh, application. Or an alternative approach is based on a pool mechanism where we expect uh, our Dynamics 365 tenant to be polled for changes to any entity. Now, irrespective of the approach taken, Broadcasting data from 365 to any other system should be transactional, with the possibility to cancel a transaction in case of failure of delivery. So let's start from the XRM plugin. We'll broadcast entity data as a broker message, obtaining a connection to the enterprise service bus, specifically into a topic and sending the message asynchronously. The state machine instead is implemented as a singleton asynchronous dictionary containing a count of all the transactions that are active for a specific topic. When a new transaction for a topic begins, if there is a, already an existing transaction for the same topic, then we increase the counter, otherwise we start a new counter from one. And when we end a transaction for a topic, then obviously we decrease the counter. As a subscriber application, 
and I want to read some message that has been broadcast by the enterprise service bus, I will start, I will begin a new transaction for a topic and then obtain the entity after deserializing the message. If uh, the storing, so saving of this entity in my local system is successful, then the entire transaction is successful and I can mark that as successful or otherwise I have to cancel it. Now the state machine will help managing the state of success or cancellation. If uh, the transaction is completely successfully, then I will end it, so decrease the number of active transactions in that moment and if all the transactions are done, then I will mark the message completed, which basically removes it from the topic in the ESP. When a transaction fails, so I have to cancel the entire data transfer, I will need to reset the counter to zero, so all the transactions are basically aborted, and send the message to the dead letter queue which is a specific queue in uh, the ESB for messages that fail to be delivered. The entire solution is available free to download from my GitHub repository and the article about these uh, common data integration patterns is on my Dynamics community blog XRM and beyond. Good reading, thanks for watching and bye!